In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for MgO, that's magnesium oxide. Magnesium is a metal, and then oxygen, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together, we have an ionic compound. So we need to think about the ions. We go to the periodic table, and we can see that Mg is in group 2 and has two valence electrons. So we'll write Mg and put those two electrons next to it. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. Since MgO, magnesium oxide, is an ionic compound, the metal will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So magnesium will have one electron go here and then one right here. Since magnesium lost two electrons and electrons are negative, it now has a two plus charge. Because oxygen got those electrons, it now has a two minus charge. And the negative and the positive, those are attracted together, and that's why we have this ionic bond here between Mg and O. We should put brackets around this oxygen to show that it's an ion. Often you'll also see brackets around the positive ion as well. And that makes this the Lewis structure for MgO, magnesium oxide. Do note, however, this is what's called a formula unit. In crystals, we have a regularly repeating array of formula units. This is just one. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.